Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. And today we're going to be talking about some of the bugs found here in town that are also found in some of the masterpieces of old world paintings. As always, if you need more information in the descriptive box below, there's links to various websites, including one out to Amazon.com that lists all the best-selling books for sale in the San Miguel de Allende Secrets series of books. In the past, painters got their pigments from nature. For example, raising a family in the low country, indigo was the in-demand blue dye raised on plantations. Here in San Miguel de Allende, it was the red cochineal, a cacti-dwelling bug that expanded scarlet's appeal. This particular shade of red reached Europe, fascinating painters to become the most important ported Mexican product behind silver. How and why did a crushed up bug alter art history? Red cochineal is a pre-Hispanic color from a tiny bug used for both dyeing textiles and coloring codices since 2000 BC. A precious product, it was part of the tributes the Aztecs demanded from other groups. Since it comes from a tiny parasite, the process of extraction is an arduous one. The female cochineal stands in the nopal cactus where she is brushed off and then left to dry in the sun or heated in a pot. Then the cochineal is crushed up to form the red dye. When the Spanish conquerors arrived, they quickly noticed the bright and intense red and it became one of the most precious items the Spanish con conquerors obtained from Mexico. Spain fiercely guarded the new red, never revealing its origins, plant, animal, who knows? thus maintaining a monopoly on the fast-growing market for centuries. Painters living in European port cities got early access to the dye. Tintoretto was the first European painter to use the red cochineal in his painting Christ Carried in the Tomb for the clothes under him, pictured in the upper left-hand corner. The crushed-up red bug was soon associated with wealth, power, and royalty. For example, King Louis XIV requested the use of red cochineal and the royal bed curtains and chairs of Versailles. The British used the cochineal to dye their red uniforms of the army officers or red coats that were featured in the U.S. War for Independence. Rambant used the red dye in his works including the Jewish Bride there in the lower left hand corner. Surrounded by dark background, the woman's red dress captures the viewer's eyes. Mexican painters also embraced the precious red including the paintings of the marriage of Mary and Joseph pictured there to the right. That's one of my favorite subjects in early Mexican paintings as it helped define the role of Mex Mexican masculinity to this day. Today, red cochineal, like indigo, is no longer a must-have dye and the Mexican ladybug can breathe easy on her cactus home. Well, unless a Revlon representative is skulking about, as the dye is still used in lipsticks, face powders, rouges, and blushes. As always, feel free to click subscribe now and you'll get automatic notification of new videos as they appear here on the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets.